Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And today, well, it's just going to be a quick video. We're going to try to do a little bit of reworking on the loader here. Uh, what I'm going to basically do is sort of rework the hover pads and the ramp to where the ball drops, which just happens to be, as soon as I get over here, right there, which just happens to be where the rotating plate is, because that's where I set up the elevator for. So we'll do that. At the same time, too, I'm going to set up a really simple scoring mechanism on this. Uh, it's just going to be a sign that lights up to say the big red X for a strike. And that'll be really simple. I was originally thinking of trying to get like a five way AND gate across all five pins, but realistically, you only need to worry about the first one because if the first one goes down, then all five of them go down. So we will do that. We'll just go ahead and reset them. I love how that works. Uh, I got a few, uh, another idea I'm gonna try to come up with for this type of mechanic, and this one if I can uh, tweak it a little bit. But let us go down below under the deck and see what we can do. Now I have sort of looked at it a little bit, and since the ball drops right here, if I take this hover pad and put it right here, then it should be okay. And then as long as I can push the ball up, maybe I can move this one out one and go from there. So I wanted it here. So let's try this. Uh, let's get the right hot bar here. And see what we come up with. Oh yeah, I gotta do the right color as well. Uh, this one. Uh, will that go there? Yes it will. I might as well take the ball out of the way. Because it won't let me place the hover pad because it's here. But we don't have to worry about it being obstructed because we want it to be obstructed once the time comes. Alright, so I'll go ahead and finish that. We'll throw a yield hover pad on. Uh, it's not going to place because of this one. And that block. Uh, hover pads, they need to have one block on either side and they're two blocks high and three blocks wide in case you did not know. So now the ball should drop right in the way of the hover pad, and I think they push about four blocks. So that that should work. Now we'll do the same thing here. We'll just get rid of all this excess junk, making sure not to take apart a critical piece that causes it to collapse on me. All right, so we are going just right there. Go ahead and fill that in, and put one of these here. There we go. Like so. Now, I do believe I have to block this. Play with a block right here. I'll do that and that. And then we'll have to put one on top. And that's just to stop the ball from rolling back. Probably should put this back in here. And what have I got on the other side? The other side is a slope, so we'll just get rid of that. And let's go back to this bar. Put one of these there, just so it mirrors the other side. And yeah, and then I might have to try to get the hover pad up here if I can. But we'll see what happens once I once we get the ball rolling, so to speak. Now Go ahead and connect this there and there. Uh, yes, I do have it turned off. Dropping. Thank you for interrupting me. I get to take care of that. Good hydration secured. You are in a well-fed state. Uh, the best thing about loading old save files over and over and over again, you can keep eating the same food over and over and over again. So it's it's efficient, and that is not a small block. So that should work. So when these turn on, they sh it should push it up. Now, I need to get a hover pad up here as close as I can. So I think take those out. And it will not go there. Why? Because of that one. Hmm. And it broke. <laughs> I took out the wrong block. Uh, hang on, let me bring everything back. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, actually, I was going to save. Hang on. Because you never know. And with me, you never really do know. So, I am going to, again, block this in. I've got the hover pads already set to 
grounded, yes, or hover. So then the ball should drop here. These hover pads should push it up. And it's a little rainy, so I'll turn the light on. Now, I think... Yeah, it's got to be two up. So I think I have to put the hover pad here. This actually might work. Oops. I hit the mic, sorry about that. Alright, we'll do that. That's not going to be pretty. It's going to be all hidden underground anyways. And I think... This should work. We'll find out. We'll do a little bit of a test here. Oh, I gotta grab this switch box here. Ah, uh, there. And there. And... Hoping that's going to be enough. Alright, so I'm going to get a... I'm going to go find a ball and I'll bring you back. Okay, I found one. So, oh. I wonder if that would have hurt me. I wonder if it would have killed me. Uh, as far as I know, that's actually a lot of weight. Okay. And get the ball rolling and race it down to the bottom. I want to see where it lands for one. And then we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Where is it? There it is, and right there. So yes, that's what I want. Now the question is, is this actually going to fire it? Okay, let's, let's bring it over to the left a little bit. What's going on? Why is it not turning? Did I place a block in the wrong spot? I must have. I did something wrong here. What did I do? Uh, hmm. Hang on, let me figure this out. I got it. Just needed a little bit of a nudge. Quick, turn it off, turn it off. Like it's hitting a dead point or something. I went downstairs, gave it a little bit of a nudge, and it worked. Could use a, another hover pad or two. I'm basically trying to make a spinner with with one hover pad. See, see what I mean about loading save files all the time? I get to eat the same food I ate yesterday. There we go. Alright, so now, uh, now we'll just see what happens. It didn't go anywhere. So yes, it gets stuck here. So now, I'm want wondering how I expect to stand on a slope block like that. So... What I would do here then Hmm. Maybe have these hover pads up a little higher. Problem is I can't have these down because they're obstructing this one unless it's out more. Sorta of wants to go. Unless this one was one more closer. Let's actually try that. Uh, let me adjust those pads and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I'm going to try to put them a little differently here. I want to see actually see how high the ball actually goes. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, do I actually want to bypass that power for now? Uh, where is that coming off of? I don't know. Let's 
just put a switchboard down somewhere. Uh, switchboard is going to be on a totally different hotbar. Alright, we'll just place you here for now. I want to actually be down here and see if, if the ball actually rolls up a little bit and rolls back down. And then maybe we can get a better idea what's going on. So, uh, those have been not connected. Okay. Easy enough. We go ahead. One, two, three. Okay, you are going to be hover mode, hover mode. Now I need to connect you somewhere. I'll switch you off. And I gotta make another ball. Because I had to destroy my old one. Okay, and there we go. So, uh, let me get another ball loaded in the chamber and I'll bring you right back. Alright, got one on the way right now. And we'll see what happens. That came out a little funny. Alright, let's see what goes on. Nothing. Nothing, because it's got to go forward a little more. Let's see if I can actually move it. Yes, I can. So, I'm going to have to put a couple little ramps. i got to go out this way, because I don't want to move the ball. I want to leave it where it is. And by ramps, I mean... Like, armor slope corners or something somewhere in here just to nudge it forward a little bit so let's try this and they're not back far enough okay yeah definitely have to be here all right let's try this go back to this one uh, I said this one there and there. Let's do this for now. Ooh, pink it. Pink cover pads. Yay. Okay. What are you gonna do? Nothing if I don't change these over. So it gets to there. So what I need to do. Find a way to get that to push a little more. See, I would like to put, have these here, but because they need this space here, it's actually going to be intersecting at this point here, so I won't be able to go symmetrical. I turn it off. It doesn't go anywhere. Hmm. I wanted to go with this kind of design. That actually does seem kind of steep. We might have to try to. I don't know if that'll work or not. I'm referring to the long slopes, long corners. How well that'll work as far as trying to make a rail. I don't know if it worked too well. Might have to try to do something with this because it should technically work if I can fly properly. So give me a moment, let me figure something out here. Okay, so I got another little setup I'm going to try here. Uh, this might work, I don't know if it will or not. One way to find out is to turn it on. And again, get stuck there. I'm wondering if. These are actually getting in the way now. I just think I got too much of a slope. And realistically, I should have done it, we'll call it the old school way. Doing it the way I did it before. Come on. Let's see if we can get this back. Do, 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 do. Apparently not. Alright, let's give it another shot, see what happens. Yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. Hmm. Well, 
I'm wondering. Is that too high, maybe? No, it's not too high. Probably should bring this one in. It would definitely help, but then this one... Well, we can try moving it back one more. I think we have room for it. No, we don't, because then it conflicts here. So this one would have to go back here, if anything. And then that way I can move this one down and go from there. So yeah, I'll bring you back when I got this all switched around. Okay, oh, yeah. let's try this one. See what this does. And it doesn't do anything. And it gets stuck in the usual spot. See, I can't move this back here, but I can move it back here. Once I move those blocks out of the way, that is. Uh, why? Oh, the ball's in the way. The uh, Z ball is in the way. Come on, there we go. So unless me, that means that this one should have been back to where it was originally. Okay, set you to hover, you to hover, and you're in my magical invisible extension cord. And turn it on. Boop. And I fall off the platform like I always do. I was trying to figure out why this thing was moving and I realized I'm able to push it. Alright. And fire. No. Why? Because it's not going to work, that's why. Let's see if we can nudge this thing all the way to the back without pushing it off the edge, like I almost did. And if it's going to fire, it's going to fire right now. And it's not going to fire. Yeah. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should be having it in a channel like that instead. I guess one way to find out. Okay, it dropped in, and again, once it landed there. So, of course, it's not doing anything. Now, it could be a mistake. <laughs> Okay, let's try this one. Made a few changes. I'm hoping yeah, it's not looking like it's going to be feasible. I might have to put another block here just to nudge that forward a little bit. But let's see what happens here. Nothing. Uh, of course, nothing. Uh, let's see if it's even going to do anything. See if I can nudge it a little forward without, get, without getting launched into oblivion myself. Get rid of these so I can get down a little, little ditch here. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's like pushing a steel ball, I tell you. Oh, wait, I am. There we go. Almost. Yeah, these definitely have to go back just a little bit. See, and then it gets stuck there. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. I think uh, the hitbox on these slopes is like the hitbox on the balls where it's got like these flat areas. And I think that's going on. You can actually see it clipping in and that's why it's not rolling. So, if I'm going to try to do something like this, I might have to be able to, have to make a rail gun out of the, the hover pads and shoot the balls out of it, which isn't that big of a deal, or go with a flat rail system, something like this, but not on the angle. We'll try to have to 
stay straight, but I was going on the 45 like this so I could use the self propulsion of the hover pads to actually do it so I don't have to be in the cockpit to fire it out. I, what I think is for the time being, until I come up with a better idea for this, I might have to hold off on this for now and start working into some other ideas, some other fun things to do. I do have another project I want to do that we're going to get into. Next, I think, I had a viewer actually su suggest it, and it was actually something that's been on my, or one of my lists of projects to do in the series. I do have quite a few different things I'd like to do. Some of them, they're going to be a little more trickier to do than others. Uh, some of them require a lot of thinking. Some of them are going to just gonna be complicated to build because they require multiple connections, and, you know, building around it isn't always the easiest. But I think for the time being, we're going to put this one on hold uh, and until we can come up with a better idea for this. If somebody has any ideas they'd like to suggest to help get the ball up here a little bit better, you know, I might be able to find a way to use the two block longs, but I don't know if that's going to be working out the way I want it. But anyways, I'm going to call the episode here. I uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. And <laughs> I missed the platform. Mm -hmm.